Let me get this right. You want a shot at this. The most prestigious trophy in the history of the world. Rebels of War on MPW Wrestling. Since we crowned the Connecticut champion, have we ever had the Connecticut champion? Go for the world championship. From the first champion, the Lightning Warrior, to death, the Raging Bull, the Bad Boy, Rock Richards, and now the Bounty Hunter, none of those men have ever challenged for the world title while presently the Connecticut champion. Today on NPWA Wrestling, we will have the first ever meeting of champion versus champion. The bounty hunter, the Connecticut champion, taking on the world champion for his world championship, Hollywood. What can and my friend, what will happen? Think of the consequences. Today. This match apparently will take place. The Connecticut champion, the bounty hunter. The world champion, Hollywood. NPWA championship on the line. We'll see what happens next. Flag in his hand. You Remember that? 
got this thing against Roll Yankees. Play. Him and his and former I tag team partner. The Baltimore big swing. The dirty so, white boy himself. What's the current case with Bad Company? Eric. Well, uh -huh. being the southern gentleman I am now. Those pants on. Yeah, I've had a little. Oh, those ballerina pants. I think he needs another wedgie. So, I know that the dirty white boy is in the building. He can just haul his Yankee tush down here. I'll take care of business. You know, Mad Mike looks like he's ready to take your order yeah, at the uh, like hospital cafeteria. Well, like, uh, oh, speaking of the big Swede, looks like one of the guys that works at Burger World with Beavis and Butthead. Well, just let me speak my piece. Uh-oh. This seems like, like saying, just a few Tony Black's a little humble this week. Being a southern gentleman I am. Southern? It's from I, New York. I admit I was wrong, and I'm willing to give so you another chance if you Bouncing, want. Bouncing, it seems like tag teams just never about? last. Me and they always come to this point the where they hate around. each other. I'm giving you another chance. I don't get it. And what's this thing you're calling yourself from down south? You're the next best thing in the damn uh, northern lights here, buddy. You're a, you're a northerner. You know Tell him, Big Sweet. Tell him how it is. Lay a smack down on him, Big Sweet. From New York, York City. Right now. Not from the south. Launch a great tag team. Tag team champions. We can do it again. That's right. Well, wait, we Tony Black is from South Meredith. Tag team champions in the well, NPWA. he currently resides we there. Comers, and we brought them all down, that's right. And, I, you know, coming from you to quivering in your little mouth there, it seems to me that uh, you do want to get back with me, so uh, uh -oh. let, let me, let me, uh, let me, let me recount on this. Seems like Tony Black is trying to bring the Dirty White Boy in to team up with him again. I don't know, is this a trap or what all? I don't know, I wouldn't trust him. If I were a sweet, I wouldn't trust him. He's already turned his back on him once or twice. He's never there when it matters. Forget it. Suck him in the nose and that's it. A sign of good faith. What you think about it? Let me think about it. It's over. They've come as far as they can go. How much thinking can he do about it? Thinking about Swedish meatballs or something. Uh... I don't know, it's kind of kind of hard to, to take take this. How, how else am I going to be proving that you're going to stick by me this time? You know, may, may, maybe you need another beat in the seat of light, maybe. Trust me. Just think about it. Just give me the time. Just think about it. I'll give you the fight. Uh-oh. Yeah. Think about it, huh? Don't turn your back on him. You know, <laughs> the know, big sweet is crazy. He speaks in what you call double talk. I wouldn't trust Tony Black. Yeah, he does take, have a big heart for taking the beatings that I have gave him. But let me let me just think on it one more time, man. Please. A lot of decision here. Half hour Bad show. Even Bad, Bad Mike. Uh oh. Ah! Boy, Ray Charles could have seen this one coming. But the big sweet has his glasses. So. Oh, blackout. He's got that flag. Tip. That's why he brought out to set him up. Never trust the redneck. Redneck. What are we gonna do? I see where he's getting this. Southern lingo from well, obviously a redneck in a bad company. Well, okay. We should just get out of here. What's he doing now? Oh, don't tell me he's gonna light the flag on fire. Oh, well, he's desecrating something, but I don't know what that flag stands for anyway. That's the bad company flag. Oh man, the once great tag team, the bad company, the team that made it all the way to the NWA tag team titles. Tony Black is standing there with a cheap lighter burning the cheap flag. He's standing there in cheap boots with a cheap hat and a cheap shirt and a cheap 
we're going to be seeing Tony Black and the Dirty White Boy on the same side ever again, this time for a long time. Pick'em's time, Bronson. I go with the champion. He's scheduled for one five. After being on the farm there. Wrestling boots. Oh boy. They're coming from the top here, from the top of our towers here. There they are, the whole entire triple tear. Well, to rise is the heavyweight champion in Hollywood. Surround himself with such big caboots. Look at that goofball in the front. I mean, that's that guy, and then the other goofball. He doesn't have that goofy suit on. You look like Paul Mayer with that goofy suit. Sonny D with the Singapore cane. The bad boy with the bucket of blood. And Hollywood with Lady Lee. The bad boy with the bucket of lunch, as he calls it. That's his special bucket of lunch. All right. Well, this is going to be the first of its kind on NPWA Wrestling. Title versus title. It's champion versus champion, but the world title's on the line, so it's really not title for title. It's title versus title. Title versus title. Oh, what's Sonny do? Just get out of there! Get the He's got the same old rap in that fucking video he always has. That looks like Sherman Helmsley's pocket. Well, this is the type of stuff that Inside Edition would like to air on there story on NPWA on backyard wrestling and professional wrestling. I got a snake for away from Inside Edition. They try to bust everybody. I haven't watched the uh, program this week, but I don't know if it's in or not yet. But the NPWA clips possibly will be shown on Inside Edition sometime this week, if it not already has. You want to show Tom the G? I'm going to show you when you beat up Bad Mike for a while. Well, it's not too hard for national television. I'm a local. I'm a local yokel. Referee Steve Davion got the biggest task ever. He's the third man in the squared circle. Bounty Hunter on your left, the Connecticut champion, and the world champion, Hollywood. Who's going to take him? We don't know yet. There's three men outside the ring. Oh, and they locked and up one the Bounty Hunter went for it right away. Well, the Bounty Hunter gets shoved into the corner. Well, we got a quick moment. Next week's feature matchup is going to be the bad boy taking on Tony Black. Whoa! Tony Black, who we just saw, put that flag that bad company flag and burn it right to the shambles here. They went right at right right PWA Arena. Next week he's taking on the bad boy. And bad boy has told me that because of the bounty hunters in this match with Hollywood right now, we're gonna see a power bomb. I don't know what that means. He's not in this match. Whoa. Think what? the Hollywood a power bomb the bounty hunter? Well, I don't know. Oh, a suplex and a slam. That was pretty vicious. I think Hollywood could powerbomb the, the bounty hunter at any given time, at any moment. That's what I think. Well, this Hollywood, he's, he's tough. I mean, he'd, he'd fight a buzzsaw and give it the first two rounds. Bang! Uh-oh! Bounty hunter slips out of there. Presence of mind to escape the corner from a charging Hollywood, and now the, the wild man from Waco, Texas is in control. Whoa, what kind of, what do you call that? Inverted chicken wing. 
I think that's called the Attica Twist. Oh, I hope there's a winner in this matchup. Saw that drop kick to the ankle by the Bounty Hunter. Well, what can you do when you're, you're the Bounty Hunter's size? You're giving up about maybe 100, 150 pounds, 157 pounds, I believe. What can you do to a guy that big? You can't pick him up and slam him around like Hollywood can surely do to the Bounty Hunter. It's kind of tough to mount a big offense on him. Oh, uh-oh, but you take the guy's legs out, you got an even match. A good little guy will never beat a good big guy, though, in my opinion. Isn't it? A good little guy could never beat a fat... No, wait a minute. A little fat guy can never poke a big guy in the... What it? Uh, you, you're all confused. It's something about a... You have to do your homework and listen to some tapes from a girl about food. A guy with no arms can never kick a guy in the butt. Hunt. Wait a minute, with no legs. You make I, me. I don't know. Sick. Look at this. Hollywood is. He's limping. Oh. Bounty hunter taking his shots in. Oh. Whoa! Unbelievable! I've never seen Hollywood. Oh, that was a Waco leg sweep. I think so. Remind the fans that you do the craziest player in the game in the ring right now, the bounty hunter. That guy is not playing with half a deck. Let me tell you. Uh-oh. What do you call that? The bounty hunter has these crazy maneuvers that well, he learned with other men on the planes of the... This is smart wrestling on the bounty hunter's party. He trapped the legs and got him crushed down. He's got a baker's sheet. What is that? Well... Anything goes in this matchup. I, I know, the bucket of lunch is versus title. You betcha. That we're not going to just throw this match away with a disqualification. We're going to let these guys fight. This is not a match that you would see on UPN or... No. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> or NBC or ABC or CBS or PBS for that matter. Family channel. Or CMT. Uh-oh! <laughs> The bad boy knows how to use a bacon tin. He knows how to use that. He knows what's cooking. You know, I heard the bad boy stayed back on purpose his senior year in high school just to eat lunch at Arby's every day. At Arby's? At Arby's in Meriden. Wow. From all your fans, you're in that triple stair. Could be some truth to that. I don't know. We'll have to investigate. Oh! Hollywood just got out of there. Bounty Hunter charged him. Hollywood's starting to get mobility. He's got to walk it off. Maybe he's got a Charlie horse or something. But his leg's been worked out pretty good by the Bounty Hunter. It's a tremendous strategy on the uh, Connecticut champion's part. He did become a two-time Connecticut champion by just, by just milking the cows at home on the farm. He's <laughs> That's what he does in his private time. He went out there in the ring and he wrestled other men. Uh-oh. Bounty Hunter started a quicker pick, picker up for him. Oh, <laughs> he is the one brawny fella. He is a body grab of man. He is the real. Cover. One, two, and slow count fire official. Come on. Whoa. I don't know what to do. When, when, you know, if the Bounty Hunter wins this matchup, you're all doubting it. But if he wins it, he'll be the first man in NPWA history to hold the Connecticut Championship and the world title. It's never, ever been challenged for, never been done. Wow, shades of the ultimate warrior. And the Bounty Hunter is the only two-time Connecticut champion as well. Get out of here. Yes, sir. How got all these records? What's happening here? What's going on? I've done my homework. For once. I'm the professor to this week. Whoa. We've had some great Connecticut champions, and that title means a lot. It's gone down through the history for years from the likes of the Lightning Warriors. Way back to the tournament in Rio de Janeiro. No, no, the tournament is right here in uh, Middletown. That's another right here live at the NBWA Arena. Oh, yeah, about years back. By the way, Bronson, if anyone out there who's listening, any of the fan jabones at home, if any of them have a copy of the tournament in Rio de Janeiro where Bounty Hunter Hollywood 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 do that. That's yeah. the one good thing some fan could do out there is uh, send us a copy of Butt Butters on. Yep. 
Good Don't expect that coming in the mail anytime soon. I doubt it. Or ever. In a oh. lifetime. Come on, Hollywood. That's a little shout out to my boy, Thunderbolt Pat Patterson. <laughs> He's a real American. That guy was ripped. Uh oh. Oh, there goes a shoulder. Disconnected. Hollywood now. He's got a second wind, and when he gets mad, he's unstoppable. Oh, Look he's out, he's got a chair. A steel chair. Oh, oh man. Boom! I saw my Jerry Springer the other day. Wow. Look at the offense. Just slapping away on the bad boy, trying to crush him. Nobody swings a chair like the Hollywood. The bounty hunter, excuse me. I said bad boy. The who? The what? Get it straight, Bouncer. I thought you did your homework this week. I did. We're seeing, I don't know, I, I got a feeling that we're seeing the two greatest champions for their respective belts ever. Wait a second, hold, 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 hold in a second. We're seeing the, with Hollywood the great NPW you know, champion, I think probably the longest ever. I think the bad boy would have something to say about that, about being the greatest champion ever. And the bounty hunter held it twice. Well, that doesn't mean he's the greatest. You know, he had to lose it to hold it twice. And the bad boy has a lot of inner feelings about that Connecticut title. He truly believes it's his. Well, that's why he has such a you gotta fool him because you're talking about the wrong guy. That's why he has such a vendetta against his bounty hunter all wow. these years. Because he believes he's the true Connecticut champion. <laughs> <laughs> Truly yes. believes. Look at this. In magic. Backbreaker by Hollywood. I thought we were gonna see power bomb. Well, so it's gonna take magic for the bounty hunter to win this matchup. Believe you me. Uh oh. Did I just see the sign for the rack? Is this bounty hunter in a lot oh. of control in a lot of trouble rather? Sick. You make, you make me, me sick. sick. That's what it says. Hey, you make me sick. Bang! <laughs> well, gonna make him sick, all right. He's gonna make him go right to the hospital, whether it's sickness or not. He's gonna have a broken bone in his body. Uh oh! There goes one for the DM. The bad DM is down. Body hey, hunter tried something. Look at that! Are you Flip Tony? down Hollywood. Hey, Last ditch effort. Uh oh! <laughs> Uh -oh. Unbelievable, the spear just took down the bounty hunter. It looked like the bounty hunter was going for his own kind of spear, the rear or something. Oh. The rear? Oh boy. You gotta be. Oh no. Ring the bell, it's all over. I think this is it. Well, get the bad boy to stick the fork in the bounty hunter because he's done. Oh, that's it! There it is! Hollywood has won the match! Was there ever any doubt? I think he's gonna keep both belts. I think he's gonna keep that belt. He's gonna take it for the bounty hunter. Hollywood wins the matchup. The bad boy's got a Connecticut title. Oh, I like the bucket of lunch. That's disgusting! Bad boy signaling for his power bomb. We're gonna have a post-match uh, celebration by the bad boy. You know what the bad boy says about power bombs? There's always room for more. And he threw it in there. Oh, this is disgusting. All the great Connecticut champions, the Lightning Warriors, the Raging Bulls, the Bad Boys, all the greats, the Rock Richards. Rock Richards, that was a great one. Death! That belt is dead! Whoa! He had a crowd pop down! Skinny! Yeah, some youngsters in here. It is for the family to come and enjoy. I bet you that kid has all our action figures. Whoa, the bad boy just threw the belt into the fans now. He, that belt. I don't know. I don't think we can look at that belt in the future and, and have any respect for it. He should have thrown it into the Connecticut River. Don't give him any ideas. I paid a lot of money for that. Whoa! That belt's more valuable than you think, buddy. You paid. Whoa! Look at that crowd. What's up? Somebody better grab that kid. Unbelievable. There's chaos here. Little children are going to get hurt. A lot of dissension here with the Triple Terror. The bad boy is always the causer of dissension. He just wants to deliver a stinking power bomb to a hapless guy that's been beating the crap in the ring. He's laying down on the ground and the bad boy wants his power bomb. And here he goes! 
Bronson, well, he is just so hungry oh, no. to dish out a power bomb. I don't like this one yeah, bit. This is disgusting. He can taste it. This is about as disgusting as what he did to the oh, Connecticut good. title, throwing it in the trash. Hey, now we got an official in there. What Tony Kinnearia. No oh. Hollywood is out of there. Look at that. They are out of there. I never see the champion look so upset about something. Look at this. Whoa. Maybe it's another setup. They were oh, setting us up again. You can't trust Sonny D. He's a loser. He's a low life. He's scum. He's a jerk. He's a punk. He's a rat fake. No good. Nothing. Well, we got three officials in that uh, ring trying to hold the bad boy back from delivering his power bomb, as he would say. And we got also a security guard holding back that two year old that ran the ringside. That kid was tough. Sonny D is even leaving. Whoa. The bad boy is causing dissension in his family. Get Sonny D out of here. All right. It looks like the bad boy is not going to get to deliver his power bomb. Maybe save it for another day. Whoa. Here's the replay. Where's that spear that pretty much finished off the bounty hunter? That was the beginning of the end. And then this was it, the move of the century right here. Hollywood's rack. Look at the look on Hollywood's face. He's just like, I'm going to break this sucker in half. <laughs> Take that, you goofy looking monk. <laughs> and that goofy looking whatever hasn't moved off the canvas in about five minutes. Just the brand new Timberland boots. <laughs> Put those in your mail bomb and bomb it. That guy's a jerk, man. What way is it? I'm all carried away, bro. Well, here's uh, <laughs> he gets me mad. Look at this. the bounty on him. In the trash. Look at that. Where it belongs. With all of that. where it belongs. You just you never <laughs> held that title before. Yeah, because I knew at the beginning, Bouncer. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, no, days that's that's really thrown out the garbage can. Yeah, they give that belt back. I don't even know if the bounty hunter will ever be able to defend the title again because he's been hurt so bad. Maybe he'll be uh, gonna have to strip him of the title. They better give that belt back. Uh, he wanted that power bomb and you saw Hollywood take off from ringside. He got deserted. Now he just said, forget this. It's been five minutes for an argument on a power bomb. Even Sonny D, your favorite wrestler, yeah, Jeff Doozy Bronson. You know that's not true. Next week on NPW Wrestling, we'll see the bad boy take on Tony Black. That's right. A special stipulation match. There will also be a special guest referee, I heard. In that matchup, we'll find out next week who it is. Right here at NPW Wrestling, perhaps Bad Boy will then get to deliver his power bomb. But look at the bounty hunter, boy. I don't carry it away like a bum. <laughs> like a piece of trash getting taken out to the back of Demi Wong. Well, that's done, and I think he's done too. Tony, before you watch the main event next week, folks.